Hi, I'm Leslie Sansone, and I'd like to take a couple minutes to talk to you about weight loss. You see, I've spent 18 years helping people lose weight. I've had some successes and some failures, but each success story is due to the fact that I've gotten people to see and understand that the problem with weight management is not really food. The problem is lack of physical activity. There really is a formula to losing weight and keeping it off. It's exercise. Every weight loss story I know is an exercise story. Let's meet a few. Oh, fantastic program. I love it. It's just exciting. It's very upbeat. Um, any fitness level can do it. I was a very large person before. You know, it's, it's just easy on your body, but it's a great workout. Indoor with the music and, you know, with the class and just people and, and especially the music. You just get motivated. We needed to come up with a program that had to be fun. You know, I just, I knew myself if it wasn't going to be fun, I wouldn't keep up with it. I lost 75 pounds. I lost a whole person. It is a good workout. It's not something wimpy. It's a good, strong workout. But you work at your own pace. You do what you can. If you can't do it all, just do what you can. Do the first 15 minutes. Or don't use the arms. Just do the lower body. It's just a really strong workout. And it's for everybody. The key to successful weight loss was through exercise. And I knew Leslie, and she got me started on her program. It was terrific. I learned how to sew because I was so obese. Now I go out and buy whatever I want. I had went from a size very tight 18 to a size 7, 8. I used to weigh 248 pounds and I wasn't satisfied with my life and I wanted to change my life. And by exercising and eating right, I totally changed my life. The best thing for me is that I feel better today than I did 20 years ago, literally. As you can see, it's exercise that changed the bodies and lives of all of these people. However, there are a couple of drawbacks regarding exercise. One is consistency. In order for exercise to help you lose weight, you have to do it consistently. And to do it consistently, you must do two things. Learn how to enjoy it and take the time to do it. Fortunately, they're both related. The Firm Up Fast workout you're about to do is made up of simple strengthening exercises that I've selected for their proven effectiveness. Ideally, you should do the complete workout for maximum benefits. But if you feel you're not yet up to it, don't push yourself. Do as much as you can, and you'll see, little by little, you'll be doing the entire workout. With Firm Up Fast, you can develop stronger, firmer muscles easily and quickly. The exercises are suitable for people of all sizes and weight levels. The program is divided into segments. So let's say you only have a few minutes in the morning. Do one or two of the segments only and do the other segments later on when you have more time. But make an appointment with yourself to exercise. When you make exercise a part of your life, you'll never have to worry about food again. Okay, let's start the firming exercises. Now remember that Michelle and Judy are going to be doing the exercises at a beginner's level. So if you're just getting started, you'll want to follow these girls. Um, if you're working at the intermediate level, Lucia and myself will be doing the exercises on the intermediate level. Also, Donna will be performing. She's in the back here. She'll be performing all of the exercises at the advanced level. So you'll want to follow her if you're getting stronger and more advanced. Now, you know, before you ever start working out in any capacity, the aerobic workouts or firming and strength training workouts, the body has to be warm, the muscles have to be warm. Never exercise on cold muscles. So of course, we're going to have to get into our warm-up right now. You ready, guys? Okay, let's get warmed up. Feet apart, we're going to start with mini squats. It looks like this. All you do is bend down and up to the beat of the music. It's rhythmic so that blood starts to move around to the muscle. Good. That pace just gets us moving so the body starts to warm. It's down and up and down and up and down and up. Good. This is just a mini squat. This gets ready for the exercises to come. Good. It's down, up, down, up. Five, six, seven. Continue. Eight more counts. There's eight and seven and six and five, four and three, two. Now this time we're going to keep these going, but we're going to add an abduction. It's right here, everybody. Down, abduct, down, abduct. Abduction just means move away from the body. So move that leg out away from the body. Good. Not too high. Keep it controlled. It's down, up, down, lift, down, lift, down, lift. Good. Down, lift. And eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, back to mini squats, it's here, down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight more counts, it's eight, and seven, and six, and five, four, three, let's take this to a side step here, out together, out together, side step, good, now just a little bit for the arms, warming biceps, Good. And just make a fist and up and down arm. Just curl up and down. Six and seven. Eight more times. It's eight and seven and six and five, four, three, two. Hang on for four more here. It's four, three, two. Okay, drop those arms. Two more. And walk right here. Walk. Good. Seven and eight. It's eight and seven and six. Next, we're gonna go to tap out. Four, three, two, hands on hips, here we go. Now, long legs, just tap out, tap out, tap out. Come on, stretch the leg. Gotta get ready for the exercises. Good, there's eight, and seven, and six, and five, four, three, two, do eight more counts, and long legs, come on, tap all the way out there. And five, six. All right, this time now, I want you to tap back, try this. It's tap back, tap back, good. Six, seven, and eight. And now raise arms, raise arms, warming shoulders. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Drop arms, everybody, and keep going. And two, and three, and four. Get you ready for lunges, too. Six, seven, hang there for eight more. And there's eight and seven, and six, and five, four, three, back to walking, here it comes, and walk, good. Three, four more counts, four, three, two. That was just enough to get the muscles warm. Okay, everybody, if you need weights now, if you're using weights, go ahead and pick them up now. Dawn is going to be with the extra tube, okay, so you watch her if you have your tubes. Okay, now, abdominals are tight, I want you to bring the feet apart. A little bit shoulder width apart, a little bit farther than shoulder width apart. And just drop into it just a bit so the knees are soft. Okay, now this is called a lateral raise, it's for the shoulders. I want you to bring the weights here, start here from the chest, and we're gonna just fan out to the side, it looks like this. It's a two count, it's one, two, and down, two, good, and it's out, two. Everything is slow and controlled, two. I'm using three pound weights, Lucia is using five pound weights. If you have soup cans at home, if you have anything that equally is balanced, you have two of them, whatever it is that will add weight for you, you can use those one pound weights wherever you'd like to start. Okay. The resistance of your own body will give you a good challenge to the muscle. And that's what Michelle and Judy are showing you. Good. And of course the Exer tube is what a great product that is to help you get resistance without weights and challenge those shoulders, and you can see Donna doing that. Keep it going, four more, four. And down, and three, and down. Nice and slow and controlled, two, good. That's it, and last time, good. Okay, everybody, now that was for the shoulders. Let's go to the biceps next. The palms face in, you drop the weights to your sides or your fists to the sides. All right, now, on this, all you do is curl up. It's a two count. And ready, it looks like this. It's one and two. Now, your palms start out at the thighs, but as you raise them, the palms face the shoulders. So it's a little rotation. Good. Just when you come up, you turn it just a bit. Good, follow that beat. It's two counts. It's one and two and one and two. That's it, it's one and two. Bicep, the front of the arm. Good. And down, two, and one. And two, and down, and two. And up, and two, and down, and two. If you're using weights and you get tired, just drop the weights and continue with us. Good, and up, and two, and down, and two, and up, and two, and down, and two, up, two, down, two, up, two, and down, Two, come on biceps, hang on. And there's four.
Good. And down. There's three. And down. There's two. And down. There's one. Okay. That's the bicep, front of the arm. All right, let's turn for the tricep. All right, now all I want you to do is turn to the side. I want you to get a good base so you don't have any strain on the back. Lean forward. Put your hand on your thigh because I don't want you to have any strain in your back and I want you to have a good balance. Prop your elbow up. All right, for the tricep, that's the back of the arm. You've got to get in a good position so it's isolated. You want these to be effective. You don't want to waste your time there. You want to get to that muscle and make it work hard. Bring the weights or your fist or the tubes up to the shoulder. This is where you start. Now, all you do is kick it back. It looks like this. It's one and two and back. Two, extend out for two counts, back. Two, it's just extension. Good. Keep the elbow propped up. Keep the shoulder relaxed, though. Don't tighten up the shoulder and shrug it. You've got to keep it relaxed in a neutral position so you can think about the tricep doing the work. Good. You've got to initiate the move from the tricep area. That's the back of the arm. Come on, think all triceps. You've got to concentrate and think about it. That's when it really works. Good. Extend. Back. Good. And extend. Come on back for two counts. It's one, two, back, two, and one, two. Good. Come on, we're going to just tire this muscle out. That's when you get results. You want a nice, lean, firm arm, especially the back of the arm. Boy, that's hard to get to that area. And keep it lean and firm. Four more. Hang on, you can make it. Anytime something gets a little tough, you just blow out. It'll help you to continue. Two more. Breathe normally until something gets tough and then blow out. That's the best general rule for breathing. One more. Good. Okay, now relax that muscle, relax that arm, give it a little shake. Okay, since we're in this position, let's stay here and do our lunges, okay? Now, you're in the right position for it. All I want you to do is think about, first of all, abdominals are tight and back straight. I want you to just think about dropping straight down. Don't go forward, just go straight down and straight up. Okay, lunges for the thighs. Here they come, guys. Go down, two, and raise up, two. Now, you can keep your weight down at your sides. You can balance them here on your thigh, too. You can even place them up on your shoulder. Good. End up. It's two. Down. Two. And up. One. Two. And, of course, working the thighs. One of the best exercises for thighs. This is it. Drop straight down and come straight up. It's like your body has a string going down through it. And you're going up and down on that string. Straight. All right, now listen, you've got to think about your heel pushing you back. Down, two, push back, two, down, two. Push with the heel. Boy, you can feel that when you push with your heel. That's when you're going to get results. You've got to do the exercises right to get the body to change. Drop, two, push back, two, and down, two, push back. Let's just do two more. Hang on, down. Two, up, two. Last time, everybody. Ooh, that feels good by that one. You feel it. Okay, good for you. Turn around. We've got to do the other side. Triceps first. Just get into position. I want you to keep your body weight going forward. Put your hand here. Support the back. Abdominals tight. And lean forward a little so we can prop up and isolate that tricep muscle. Okay, you know these. One, two, and back. Two, there we go. And two, the back of the arm, the tricep. Just think about the tricep every single time. One, two, good. Two, and one, two, and back. Two, and one, two, and back. Two, support yourself on that thigh. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two. That's it, one, two. Everything's in a two count. Slow and controlled. Good. Everything has to be slow. That's when you're getting results. If you swing your body around with momentum during firming exercises, you're never going to get the results you're working for. Good. And just two more. Always in the two count. Come back slow. Last time. 
Very good. Okay, let's go to lunges. That was back of the arm, the triceps. Now we go to lunges. You're set in the perfect position. All right, ready, everybody? Down, two, and up. Two, now remember, do not go forward, just drop straight down. Good, you must push back with the heel, so you really make this effective. Good, and push back. When you come back up, you almost wanna straighten that leg that's lunging, but you don't wanna lock the knee. Give it a full extension, come all the way up, but don't lock the knee. Good, down, two, up, two, down, two, and up, and two, down, and two, and up, and two. That's good, down, and two. Can you feel that, Judy? That's right, because just the resistance of your own body, just your own body weight really makes a difference. And back, two, and down, two. Push with the heel. Come on, a few more, down, push back, good, down, two, and let's do one more, hang on, down, good for you, okay, shake it out a little guys, just relax, <laughs> that feels good, okay, squats, line up for the squats, you want to go feet a little further than shoulder width apart, now the squats, all you do is drop back like you're sitting into a chair, I'll tell you when to go, ready, seven, and eight, it's this, drop, lift, drop, lift, four fast, we're going to slow down after this, now the two count, it's one, two, up, one, two, down, one, two, up. A squat is just sitting back, but you really have to exaggerate it. It's like you're gonna sit back into a chair, but I want you to drop those hips way back so that you keep pressure off of the knees. And you'll know you're doing it correctly if your knees never go beyond the toe. It's down, two, up. Two, down, two, sit way back, good. You can see Lucia's putting her weights up on her shoulders. That's a good position, or you can hold them out in front of you like I am. Good, two, you've got a lower, slow count. Down, two, up, two, down, two. Good for the entire lower body, this one. Squats are so great for your back end, your thighs, your gluteal muscles are your back end muscle. Good, thighs, quadriceps and hamstrings. One, two, one, two, good. One, sit back, up, two, good. Down, two, and up, two, that's it. Down, two, and up, two, down, two, and up, two, good. Down, two, up, two, down, Two, up, two, and four. Good, and back up. And three, remember to push with the heels. Good, when you come back, you've got to push up with the heels. One more, everybody, one more. Down, good. Good for those thighs, shake them out a little bit. Okay, next you're gonna need your mat, so let's go to the floor work. Okay, now let's work the chest and the back muscles. Okay, the best exercise you can do for your chest muscles and your back muscles is a good old-fashioned push-up. Now, if there's a reason why you just can't do the push-ups or you just don't like them, there's another exercise we're going to be showing you, and that's with Michelle. It's the chest press. Now, all it is is to raise the arms, just push straight up. Now, she's using the bands to add resistance. You can use your weights there or really nothing. If you just make a fist, and when you come up to a straight arm, I want you to contract the muscles as tight as you can, and that'll challenge that area too, okay? All right, now, if you're on the push-ups with us, I want you to just stretch out just a bit. I'm on the intermediate stance now. My knees are down, my, my abdominals are in to support my back, and I'm trying to straighten out as much as I can without dropping. You don't want an arched back at all. Take the pressure off of the back by just tilting back a little bit. Okay, abdominals in. Everyone ready? Judy in the beginner's stance and Donna in the advanced. Here's the music and here's the beat. Ready? Let's go. It's down, two, back. One, two. All you do is lower, good, and back. And it's down, two, and up, two. Lower, slow. All right, four more, everybody. When something gets tough, you just blow it out. 
Blow your air out. Okay, two more. Now hang in there, we're gonna stretch. Good, and back, and two, and down, and two, and back. Good for you, take a quick little break. All I want you to do is stretch the chest. Lace your fingers in the back, and open up the chest. Hold, two, three, four. Now come around with your arms, let's stretch the back. Just cross in front, that's it. Okay, come on back into the push-up position. Just one more set, now hang in there everybody. Let me grab the beat of the music, two, ready, let's go. It's two counts, down, Two, back, two, and down, two, back, two, and down, two, back, two, down, two, back, two, four more, down, two, back, two, blow out that air, nice and slow and controlled, come on, good for that chest, good for the back, the whole upper body's working here, down, Okay, back up, good for you. Sit on those heels just for a second. Just relax, stretch it out a little bit. Here's a quick stretch and a round to the front. Okay, let's go on our sides. We're gonna go right to an outer thigh exercise. You can lay all the way down and just prop your head here. If you'd like, you can go all the way down to the head. We're just gonna put our hand right here on our head and prop it up. For the outer thigh, I want you to bring the bottom leg forward. It's in a 90 degree angle. It's going to just support you, but from your head to your Foot. I want you to be in a straight line. Hip bones on top of each other so you're in a good position. Hold abdominals in all the time. Okay, this is just a simple leg raise. You start with the leg down. The foot is flexed. And I'll find the beat of the music first, guys. All right, ready? Let's go. Two counts up. One and two. Down. One and two. And up and two. Just a simple leg raise. Up and two and down and two and up and two and down, and two. Now, just a little wee bit, I want you to take this one to a diagonal, just a bit. Two, and down, two. Just slight diagonal back. You're gonna involve more of the back, more of the back end muscles, more of the leg muscles in the back. Not just the hip, but the outer thigh, too. Good, back, down, and good, and up, and down. That's it, one more time. This time, I want you to hold the leg up there. Hold it up there. Now, it's called a pulse. It's really just a little wee slight leg lift. It's just kind of keeping tension in that area. Good, and five, six. You barely see this movement, it's called a little pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's do another set of the two counts. Go down, two, and back. Two, again, you're working on a little diagonal. Diagonal back, just a bit. And two, and up, and two, down, two, up, two again, down, two, and up, and two, and down. Good for the outer thigh, now just hang in there. You can feel it working now. Okay, we're gonna do another one of these. And two, all right, hold the leg up here again, guys, pulse. Two and three and four, five, six, seven and eight more counts. Hang on, eight and seven. Come on, let's really work that area. And five, six, seven. Okay, relax the leg. Now while we're here, let's go ahead to the inner thigh. Now this time I want you to just wrap this, the top leg around, straighten the bottom leg. So now from the head to the toe, you're straight with the bottom leg. All right, flex the foot, turn your heel out, you turn your heel up toward the ceiling, you're gonna isolate the inner thigh for you. All right, let's go on the two beat, it's here. Up and two, down, one and two. And up and two, down, two. Up, two, down, two, up, two. Good, inner thigh work. You gotta turn that heel up now, so you isolate that area. Up, two, down, two. This time I want you to hold the leg up and pulse, pulse. Remember, this just goes deep in the muscle now. Don't think about moving and swinging the leg. I just want you to lift it just a tiny bit so it challenges that area. And three, and four, five, six, seven, eight more. Hang on now, really flex that heel. Turn it up to the ceiling. Four more counts now, four, three, two. Okay, lower for two, it's down, 
two, lift, one, two, lower, one, two, and one, two. That's good. Hang on now. We're almost done. Now just hang on. Inner part of the thigh. Good. And up, two, lower, down, two, lift, up, two, lower, down, two. Okay, now hold it up one more time. Let's pulse. Eight counts. Two and three, four, five, six, seven. Good for you. Relax that leg. Okay, over to the other side, everyone. Just roll over and same thing. Let's go to the outer thigh. Straighten the body out first. Get those hips stacked on top of each other. You're in a good position there. Okay, drop down. You can pop your head up. If you feel strain in your neck, go all the way down, okay? All right, now I want you to, we're going outer thigh here. The bottom leg, 90 degree angle out in front of you, keeping your base. Flex the foot. Here it comes. It's a count. One, two, down, two, up, two, down, two, up, two, and down, two, and up, two. Okay, now the next time you lift, go to the diagonal now. Good. It's a little slight diagonal. It's back, two, good. Instead of just working the hip, you want to get into the outer thigh more. This is a little alternative. Up, two, down, two. Up, two, down, two. Up, two, down, two. Up, two, down, two. A few more. Good. Down, two, up, two, down. One more of these. Okay, now this time I want you to go back up and hold it here. These are pulses, pulse. Good. Three. It's so small, you barely see the leg move, but you can feel it. It's going deep in that area, deep in those muscles. And five, six, seven, eight more. Stay there, everyone. Keep those hips in line with each other. Three, two. Okay, down for two. It's down. Two, lift. One, two, down. One, two. You're on a slight diagonal. Good. Diagonal back, just a bit. And down for two, and back for two. Come on, working the hips and the thighs. Good, and down. Two, up, two, down, two, up, two, and down, two. Again, this time, stay up there. Eight pulses, there's eight. There's seven, there's six, there's five, four, three, Two, good for you. Okay, relax the leg. Good, that felt great. Okay, inner thigh now. Let's line up for that. Straight leg on the bottom and bring the top leg around you here. Your inner part of your knee can be on the floor or it can be lifted a bit. It's okay, just so the hips stay in line. Okay, inner thigh, heel turned up. All right, ready? Here's the two count. It's like this. One, two, down, two. Come on now, think about that heel leading you up. That isolates inner thigh area. Up. Two, down, two, up, two. It's slow and controlled all the time. Down, two, it's up, two, and down, two, and up, two, and down, two, and lift, two, and down. If you think about the muscle you're working, you'll get better results. It's much more effective when you concentrate. Good. It's lift and lower and lift and lower. Just one more time. Lift and lower. Okay, this time go up and pulse. All the way up and hold it for the pulse. Come on, turn the heel up. You can really feel the isolation there. Here's eight. Here's seven. Here's six. Here's five, four, three, two. Lower for two and it's down. Two and lift. Two. Whenever you need to take a break, just relax, take a break, and then get started with us again. Down, two, up, two, down, two, up, two. Last time, down, two, and stay up there. Last pulse, it's eight counts. Eight, seven, six, ouch, five, I can feel it. I heard them giggling. They can feel it. Okay, relax, guys. Good for you. Okay, next we're going to go to abdominals. 
Okay, time to work abdominals. Okay, in place, everyone. Now, you know, this is really my favorite part right now because after my third child, now he's seven weeks old right now, I need that ab abdominal work. But if you're a new mom at home thinking, oh boy, am I ever gonna get my abdominals tight and lean again? You can, you will, and these are the exercises to do it. Okay, we're going to do some abdominal curls. All I want you to do is lay back on the floor. You've gotta press your lower back into the floor so that you're in a safe position. And the way to release your hip flexors from doing any of the work is just to lift your heels a bit. Okay, so everyone lift your heels. All right, now place your hands behind your head. Do not lace your fingers. Just leave your heads resting back leave your hands resting back here so your head rests in the hands and your neck is supported all right a curl is easy let's start girls I'll give you the beat ready it's this it's up for two and down for two this is abdominal curls the upper part of the abdominal muscles are working here down and two now all you do is contract the muscle and relax you really don't ever relax. I want you to always keep a little tension in that area. So when you go back, it's just as important as when you lift. You go one, two counts, down, two counts. It's lift, two, and down, two, and lift, two, and down, two. Continue, lift, two, and down, two, and lift, two, and down, two. Up again. Good, come on, deep in the abdominal muscles. When you get up there, give it a real tight crunch. Good, on the way up now, crunch it. Good, and down, two, and lift, really crunch, down, two. This time, everyone, hold up there, hold the crunch, hold. Five, six, now back down three counts like this. One, two, three, lift on four, good, and it's one, two, three, lift on four, and it's back down, two, three, lift on four, and slow back, two, three, lift on four. This is one of the best ones for abdominals. It's a simple curl. Slow, two, three. Just by changing the tempo, you can really challenge the muscles. Three, and lift, it's back, two, three, and lift. Four more, go back, two, three, and lift, and back. Two, three, and lift, and back. Two, three, one more everyone, one more. Two, three, now stay up here on four, stay here. Crunch, you're holding it, hold. Five, six, lower, two counts, it's down. Two, lift, one, two, lower, one, two, lift, one, two. Now you take a break whenever you have to. Relax and then join us again. It's up, two, back, two, and up, two, and back. Okay, lay back everyone, lay back right there. We're gonna add a little bit of the lower abdominals. We're gonna start warming them up to get ready for a specific workout. This time I want you to hold lower abdominals in tight and keep your feet right under you there. We're gonna, all we're gonna do is alternate lifting the knees in toward the chest so we get ready for some lower ab work. It looks like this. I'll give you the cue, two, and ready with the right leg. All you do is lift it in, place it down, lift it in, and down, in, and down, in. Think of the lower abdominals. Hold them in tight. Good. Five, and six, and seven. Okay, now I want you to add abdominal curl to this. All you do is curl in when the knee comes in. Curl in. Again, put your hands behind your neck. Don't lace your fingers because that makes you want to pull your head forward. And you don't even want to pull on your head or your neck. You want to think about abdominal muscles all the time. Good. And crunch. And crunch. And crunch. Come on now, every time that knee comes forward, you gotta crunch into it. Crunch. Contract the muscles. Contract. Deepen the muscles. Four more counts. Four. Three. Two. Oh, come on, four more. <laughs> Good, we can do four more. Four. And three. And two. And drop back. Very good. Okay, now let's go to the obliques. Your waistline, the oblique muscles on the sides of the body. We're going to first do a simple basic 
hands behind the head again. And we're just going to come up with a twist. Instead of curling straight up, you're going to do it with a little twist. And here's how it goes. Lift and twist. Ready and twist. And down, two. You lift and twist, down, two. 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 Lift and twist, down, down, two, four more, lift, twist, down, two, lift, twist, down, two, lift, twist, last one on the other side, lift, twist, down, and two, good for you. Okay, I want you to put one foot over the knee, hand behind the head, now you're supporting the head, the knee that is up, the knee that you have up, you want to put the hand down by your side. This is called a side bend. Still for the obliques, that's your waistline. All you're going to do is reach toward the foot and come back. Reach toward the foot, come back. You reach and back and reach and back. Eight more, there's eight, back. Seven, back, six, back, five. You're kind of skimming the floor. You reach and go deep in the muscle. Reach, two more. One more, good. Now just switch sides, switch position. Drop that foot down and bring the knee, bring the foot over the knee. Support the head, don't pull on the head. Okay, with your hand down at your side, you're just going to reach. Come back and reach and back. Go deep in the muscle, back, deep in the muscle. Good, crunch and back, crunch and back. Four more, there's four, back, three, Two, no, no, add two more to that, sorry, can't let you go yet. One, and two, very good, and one more for lower abdoms now. Abdominal muscles in the lower part of the stomach. I want you to lift the legs, keep the knees bent, hands down by the sides, and all I want you to do is contract the lower abdominals. You barely see this movement. Don't swing your legs around. You don't want any momentum going there. You want to think only about lower abdominals, Crunch, relax, crunch, relax, crunch, relax, crunch. Now don't relax. This time crunch and go back slow. Crunch. Good. You return to the position, but you do it so slow. Crunch and keep it tight on the way down. Crunch. Tight on the way down. Crunch. Think about your lower abdominals. Let's do four more. Four and three. Slow back, two, slow, and one, slow. Very good, now see how easy that is? It's so easy to firm your body. Those are some of the best exercises for firming. Let's do a quick stretch, everyone. Grab behind the thigh, pull it all the way into your chest. Stretching hamstrings, straighten the leg out, flex the foot and hold. Four, three, two, drop that foot. Let's go to the other leg. Grab behind the thigh, pull in for a hamstring stretch. Straighten the leg, flex the foot and hold, stretching the entire back of the leg. Four, three, two, drop this leg down. Now let's stretch all the way out for the midsection. I want you to straighten your legs, put one on top of the other, cross at the ankle, reach above the head and hold. That's just for the midsection to stretch your abdominals, obliques, hold. Three, two, one, now one foot at a time, bring them back with the knees up. Okay, keep the hands right where they are, stretched out above the head. Drop your knees to the right, slowly. Hold, four, three, two, bring them back to the center. Now drop to the left, slowly. And hold, four, three, two, back up to the center. And real quick, everyone, bring the hands straight up. I want you to drop them out to the side, open up the chest, and bring them back up, and cross in front of you, almost like you're gonna give yourself a hug. Good, and back up, and out to the sides. And one more time, up, you cross, you kinda give yourself a little hug, and good for you, all done. Now grab behind the right thigh, and pull up really slow. That's it.
Okay, now remember the firm up fast video, you've got to do that twice a week to get great results. Add the aerobics to that, the Miracle Mile video or the two mile walk. You want to do that three times a week. In just a few weeks, you should see your body changing and feeling great. That's when you're sure you're going to have great weight loss success. You've got to exercise for weight loss. It's not going to happen thinking food, food, food. Think, when will I exercise today? Thanks, everybody. We're going to see you the next time.